Hey guys, so I wanted to do a video on this brand new feature called binaural panning uh, which is available in Logic Pro 10.5 and onwards um, and explain what it is, why it's so um, important and how you can use it. So before we go anywhere uh, we need to understand mono and stereo files. So uh, a mono file is when a single signal is sent to the speakers. So in the picture above the blue you can see that there is uh, only one signal being sent through uh, whereas the picture below in pink or purple um, is made up of two separate signals the top one will go to the left channel and the bottom one will go to the right channel and our music most of our music is mixed to stereo uh, that's because we have two ears we listen to music on headphones so two speakers um, hi-fis have got two speakers um, films and mixed in 5.1 or 7.1 where you have speakers all the way around you but most music is mixed to stereo however it also has to work in mono when it's played back during, uh, through just one speaker such as when it's played back through uh, a bluetooth speaker or out of your phone anyway so what is panning so panning is placing the sound in that stereo field so the stereo field is a location of the sound when listening from two speakers or headphones. Um, so the stereo field ranges from hard left, which is all the way to the left, the center, where both the signal is coming out of the left and the right speaker at the same volume, and then hard right, which is the sound is only coming out of the right hand side. So traditional panning is uh, using a pot to split the signal and send a proportion of it to the left and to the right channel. Um, so in the example below, here's a guitar going to the left channel. Here's a guitar going to the center channel. Here's a guitar going to the right. And as you can see, it kind of feels weird when the signal is only being sent to one side. So here's uh, where the first problem comes up with traditional panning. Uh, where is the sound coming from? So the way our brain works out the location of a sound is through the timing difference it takes between it arriving fr to the, from the left ear and the sound arriving to the right ear. So in this example below we've got a drum kit and the drum kit is located far away and on the left hand side. Well because it's on the left hand side it's going to hit our left ear milliseconds before it hits our right ear and our brain decodes that. It examines the timing difference and then it tells us even with our eyes closed we know that that drum kit is located on the left hand side because of that timing difference. Now the first problem with traditional panning is that the panning pot changes the amount of the signal going to the left and to the right channel but not its timing and what I mean by that is it changes the volume of the signal so the traditional panning pot will send a different proportion of the signal to the left or to the right it won't amend its timing so that doesn't fix one of the issues that we have, which is how our brain decodes sound and its location. The second problem that we have is um, to change the volume, we need to use a volume fader. So uh, a traditional volume fader doesn't change the proportion of higher frequencies in a sound. And what I mean by that is, uh, here's an example of a drum kit um, with a low volume. And here's an example of a drum kit with a high volume. Now, in real life, the further a sound is away from you, the less higher frequencies it will have. Um, and a traditional volume doesn't affect the balance of the frequencies. It just changes the whole volume of all of the frequencies together. So this is another issue which you have um, with using a volume fader. All it does is turn up and down the volume it doesn't position it further away so there's no distance so as an instrument goes further away it becomes quieter and it has fewer higher frequencies um, another thing that we're going to look at is the location of an instrument is it in front of you or is it behind you how can you tell well is shaped to pick up sounds clearly from the front. It's like a funnel. Um, however, the sounds from behind aren't going to get enter your ear as effectively as the sounds from in front. So in a real life scenario, you would be able to tell if a sound is in front of you. However, with traditional panning, you can only place it left or right. And with the volume, you can only position it loud or quiet. 
So that's the third problem. To make a sound appear to be behind us, we would have to use an equalizer So the solution to all these three problems is binaural panning. Instead of having a regular pan pot that you turn from left to right, you have this uh, like a radar. And the green dot is precisely where the sound will sound like it's coming from. Maybe you can position it far away in the distance, really up close and in front of you, really far away behind you, behind you to the left, behind you to the right, all the way to the right. So there's a lot more solutions. Um, so it's really simple. All you have to do is go to the traditional panning pot on your channel strip, right click on it or control click and select from stereo pan to binaural pan. And here's what it will do. It will affect the volume. It will apply a timing difference. So if you position something to the left, it will arrive uh, milliseconds before in one ear than the other ear. So it will be decoded to your brain by not just the, its volume but also the timing difference and um, depending on how close or far the frequency content will also be affected so it's changing the volume the, the timing, timing and the EQ of a sound to produce this effect of the sound being uh, positioned around you so uh, what I'm now going to do is I'm going to show you an example of um, a simple track in um, regular panning and then I'm going to do the binaural panning afterwards. So I've selected three loops out of the Apple library, an African talking drum, uh, the tone wheel organ and a zebra stripe bass and um, in the blue that what you're going to hear first is some traditional panning where I've used just panned uh, the first one left then right and then the bass central and then on the second time round that you're going to hear it I've used binaural panning and I've um, automated it so the sound should be swirling all the way around you, uh, far away from you and close to you. Um, so watch out for the panning which you'll be able to see uh, across these radar pots here.